Another big story here on First at Four. It's once again time to rally the Valley. The sun set to take the court in less than three hours for game three against the Pelicans after a strong start to the series on Sunday and really a tough loss on Tuesday. Right now, all eyes on New Orleans as the best road team in basketball heads over to the Smoothie King Center in downtown New Orleans. And speaking of which, our live Suns coverage continues with the best 12 new sports team right here. Luke Litton and Lena Washington. And, and Luke, uh, look, I think that it comes down to this. Can the Suns win this series against the Pelicans without Devin Booker? Ah, it's, uh, it's the question we all want the answer to. And, of course, we're all a little nervous. But, uh, you know, this team hadn't won 64 games just by luck, right, in the regular season. I don't think a lot of Suns fans, including myself, thought we'd find the team in this situation tied at a game of peace. But simply put, welcome to the NBA playoffs, right? And time now to welcome in our very own Lena Washington, who clearly has the best work assignment all week long, as she is live down in New Orleans with the look ahead to game three. Hey, Lena. Hey, Luke. Yeah, a lot of people actually across the country probably thought this first round would be a cakewalk for the Suns, but now they find themselves with the series tied here in New Orleans, and you see some of them are getting ready for this game. There's Ish Wayne right behind us, Ife Lundberg. But without their leading scorer, a lot of people are asking who's going to step up in Devin Booker's absence, but head coach Monty Williams says the focus needs to be on rebounding in these next two games. His team's defense will be the deciding factor when it comes to facing this gritty Pelicans team. For me, it's all about playing to our standards. You know, we the rebounding in game one, we were able to win. Um, even with giving up 25 rebounds last game, it was just a number of things that we didn't do well. And, and I talked to the guys about that today. Like, we, we have to play to our standards, no matter who is on the floor. You know, certain guys like Jackson Hayes and them dudes like pushing the ball, on, you know, Larry Nance, um, you know, just being playmakers and stuff like that. We just got to know that those guys can do a lot. And, you know, just be prepared and ready for it. And you can expect Smoothie King Center to be jumping tonight. The rapper Choppa is performing at halftime. He's a New Orleans native, and it's sure to be rocking when the Suns take the court. Even though they're known for their southern hospitality here, they're going to let the Phoenix team know they're not welcome here in the Big Easy, guys. And Lena, a quick question for you uh, before we let you go. Now with Devin Booker out, Cam Johnson swapped in the starting lineup. What do you think that does for the second unit moving forward, especially in game three tonight? Well, of course, that's going to be an adjustment on the fly when Cam Johnson has played in the second unit. He's been productive. He could be the X factor when stepping into this role as he has earlier in the season with Devin Booker going down with a hamstring earlier in the year. But it's all the playoff. It's, it's win or go home, essentially, in these next five games. So we'll see if Cam Johnson is up for the challenge in just his second postseason appearance, guys. And we know next man up mentality couldn't be more true, especially for this series. Lena, thanks. We'll check back in with you at 5 o'clock. Okay, all right, guys, thank you so much. Fingers crossed. That leads us to the 12 News Bullhorn question of the afternoon. Can the Suns win without Book? Absolutely or no way? And right now, there's still, people are believing. 60% say absolutely. Good for you. I'm pulling for him, too. Yes, we all are. Vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn or in our free 12 News app.